Yeah, I'm definitely not doing an Asian makeup video just because my favorite K-pop idols are all doing comebacks and some groups are debuting. It's definitely not that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Konnichiwa, Tiffany Rika this. Welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to do an in-depth vlog style kind of video on Asian lip tints. Now, when it comes to Asian beauty products, I find that I always think about like BB cushions or skincare or lip tints. So I decided to make a whole video trying out five different Asian lip tints that I've recently picked up to show you guys like how it lasts throughout the day, how it lasts throughout a meal or a drink, and also the pigmentation and coloring and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get right on into this video. So the first two lip tints that we're gonna try are from the same company. This is the Peri Paris Peri's Ink lip tints. Now, I got them in two different shades to try out for you guys. I got it in number three, top red, and number two, the cutest pink. So let's go ahead and try them out throughout the day. Okay, so my honest review on these lip tints. Now first off, for pigmentation, I would give it a five out of five. I mean, the colors are beautiful. I think it would look good on any skin tone. My friend tried it out and she really liked it and they do have a few different colors to pick from. For lasting power, I would have to give it a 3.5 out of five, uh, just because I find that throughout the day, it kind of just faded really quickly. Um, throughout eating, it was okay, and drinking, it was okay, but overall, I just didn't find that it didn't have the lasting power that I wanted. For application, I would give it a five out of five, just because I find that this is a very versatile product. I liked using it as a full lip color, but I also liked enjoying it as an ombre lip color. I find that it blended out easily just because it's almost like a gel-like texture. For moisture, I would give this lip tint a five out of five just because I find that when you are wearing lip tints, it either dries out and cracks your uh, lips or it goes into crevices inside of your lips and whatnot. That sounds really weird. But I find that this one uh, was very smooth and it didn't feel like I was wearing anything on my lips, which is like the best thing when it comes to having a lip product. Now moving on into the infamous, infamous Berry Som My Lip Tint Pack in Sexy Red. Now I've been hearing so, so, so much about this on every single beauty blog. There are so many videos of people trying this product out. So I was like, I wanna try out the hype and see if it's worth it. So let's go ahead and see a day with this one. Okay, for my overall thoughts, pigmentation wise, I would give it a five out of five. Once again, very, very vibrant lip, but if you are going for an ombre lip look, which are super popular, I wouldn't recommend this product just because it's definitely just a one color uh, lip application. For lasting power, I would have to give it a 2.5 out of five just because I think that over time when it's drying and also throughout the day after you eat and stuff like that, it does stay on your lips, but it's so patchy, it kind of looks very off and weird. Um, you get lines and you get patchy of color and it just doesn't look very nice. For application, I would give it a three out of five. Usually um, when using this product, I found that I would put it on while I was doing my eye makeup and then peel it off when I was done and that's how it would work. But honestly, I don't wanna wait like 10, 15 minutes for my lipstick to dry if it's not gonna last that long. That was kind of like a disappointing factor. Uh, for moisture, I would give it a three out of five. Honestly, once again, it did sink into the crevices and I find that it cracked my lips a lot. Uh, so I did have to reapply chapstick throughout the day, uh, which, you know, like, I just really was hoping so much for this product and it kind of let me down. The next product that we're gonna try out is the Bison Baby Pink Plus Lip Tint. Uh, this is a Japanese lip tint product, so I really wanted to go ahead and pick it up after hearing my friend rave about it. So let's go ahead and test it throughout the day. <laughs> so 
So my honest review on this, for pigmentation wise, I would give it a 3 out of 5. This was the most vibrant color that they had. I think they do have three colors in Japan. Um, I picked up the red one, and honestly, it wasn't really red as you saw on camera. It really wasn't that pigmented. It's a beautiful color. I think it's a very natural color if you're going for that look, but honestly, I don't think it was as pigmented as I wanted it to be. Lasting power, I would give it a 5 out of 5. I think that it faded throughout time, but it was a nice fade. There wasn't any like creases or cracks or little patches that form on your lips. Um, I think it faded out really nicely, and overall throughout the day, it gave like a very nice, um, very light color to your lips, uh, which is really nice if you are wearing like some type of lip gloss over it. For application wise, I would give it a 4 out of 5. I find that when you first applied it, it was um, very smooth, but then it got really, really sticky until it dried. So um, I really didn't like the sticky texture, and I find that it like, I don't know, it made your lips like stick to itself like for an hour until it dries, so not my favorite. For moisture content, I would give it a 4 out of 5. Honestly, I wasn't too impressed. It just seemed like a very basic lip tint. I didn't find that it gave me moisture throughout the day, even though on the packaging that it said that there was a lot of moisturizing benefits and factors to it, but I didn't see that in this lip product. The next product that we're going to try out is the Tony Mali Delight Tony Tint in Red 02. And this product you guys have seen me use a lot throughout my videos, so let's go ahead and see how it lasts throughout the day. So for pigmentation, I would give it a 5 out of 5. It's definitely a very, very true red. If you're going for a cherry red look, this is the color for you. I do believe that they have three different colors to choose from. If I'm wrong, I will leave it over here so you guys can check it out. But uh, for pigmentation, definitely way up there. For lasting power, I would give it a 3 out of 5. Now, if you're not eating or drinking uh, for a while, like if you're at work, it lasts so long. When I'm at my... Uh, part-time job I can have it on and be have it be on for three or four hours but if I start eating or drinking it goes away really quickly for application I would give it a three out of five it is a very very liquidy formula so I find that it would um, kind of sink in but then also it would stain your teeth too if you're not doing it properly um, I've had that happen so many times so it's very very embarrassing so just make sure that you do have a mirror when you're applying this and for moisture content I would give it a four out of five once again I wasn't super impressed with like the moisture of it, but it didn't settle into any fine creases or it didn't patch up anywhere. Um, so overall, I think this is a pretty good product. So that was all the lip tints that I tried out. For pigmentation, I would definitely go with the Peri Peras. Perry's Ink Lip Tints. I find that this one had the best color payoff. I find that the colors are very beautiful and I've swatched a lot of them in stores and I find that they're very like a multi-dimensional color rather than a flat color. Out of all the lip tints that I tried out, I think the most long-lasting one was the Bison Lip Tint. Now I find that this one didn't have the color that I wanted, so if it was really pigmented, this would be a winner. But um, for long lasting of a more natural lip color, I would definitely go ahead and pick this one up. Now if you're going for a gradient slash ombre look that a lot of idols are wearing, as well as beauty bloggers and anyone who's really into Asian beauty products, the ombre look is a must. Now, the Tony Molly Tony Tint Delight, I find is the best lip tint out of the ones that I've tried that gives you a really nice ombre look and it's very easy to do it so I would definitely go ahead and pick that up if that's what you're looking for. So that was it for my lip tint video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys do want me to try out any other Asian beauty products go ahead and let me know in the comments down below and I'll make a review video for you guys and if you guys haven't already seen me go crazy over BTS's new Blood, Sweat and Tears music video release, go ahead and click this link over here. I am an army and I like, I'm so embarrassed, <laughs> but I'm not, because they're amazing. I upload once a week, so if you guys haven't already joined the family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button over here. It's absolutely free, and once again, thank you guys so much for the support. As always, I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next week. Matane! Mwah!